Hi there and welcome to this little snapshot video on what is neuroplasticity. So I'm Joey Remini, I'm the founder of the Rock Study program and this is a neuroplasticity based education and therapy process. So in effect, neuroplasticity describes our capacity as humans to adapt and change by changing the, the nerve cell connections, the neural synapses around our brain, our spinal column and throughout our entire body. Our nerve cells build up our nervous system and our nervous system is comprised of our brain spinal column. There are billions of nerves and trillions of neural synaptic connections. Our nerves connect with finger-like type connections and little particles or chemicals known as neurotransmitters move between those fingers from nerve cell to nerve cell. As our nerve cells are connecting, they are building highly integrated maps throughout our body and these allowed us to sense the world around us, to move our muscles, to talk, to smell, hear, listen, balance, concentrate, problem solve, all of these miraculous capacity, um, capacities that we have is all linking back to our nervous system. It's enabling us to, to be alive. So neuroplasticity is actually happening whether we're aware of it or not. So it's constantly going on and as we learn and repeat things, and that can be muscle movement that we automate, it could be thought processes that we automate, it could be verbal and speech um, things that we automate. But as we repeat in daily life, those neural networks and maps that are used most often become stronger, they become hardwired and they become very central. So that can be actually quite problematic, especially if we have anxiety and fear-based patterns, which can come out through our voice, through our tone of voice, through our body language, through our thought processes, our doubts, our worries. These can become strong and repetitive and very established neural maps. So in the Rocksteady program, what we do is we take a physical, mental, emotional, spiritual approach to resetting our neural maps and consciously choosing what our desired lay of the land is, we begin to build new normal maps that become front and center. So in a nutshell, our tinnitus, vertigo, dizziness, or whatever symptoms we come with, which can be depression, anxiety, chronic pain, etc. Whatever our problematic sensations and symptoms are, they can be very front and center and really blinding us from living life they're loud, they're prioritized, and the brain is saying, this person is so anxious and paying so much attention to this tinnitus or this vertigo that I'm going to make it louder and stronger so they can focus on it better and study it more. And the reason the brain does that is because when we place our attention on symptoms, even if that attention is saying, I hate this and want to get rid of it, all the brain does is notice that you're paying attention. And it, it, it then creates more intensity, more emphasis, more priority, more neural allocation, more maps and little finger synapses connecting. So through the rock study process, we learn how to be with those difficulties, bringing curiosity, empathy, loving kindness, and to really start to pull back the, the strong emotional loading and come to a more neutral place of being with the difficulty and then providing a spaciousness to authentically be able to support the body and lean into what neural pathways do I want to strengthen and pay attention to. We get to understand our desired sensations and desired qualities, and we get to bring those into focus in daily life, moment to moment, finding ways to build sensations of feeling confident, centered, calm, at peace, quiet, collected, together, grounded, centered. Whatever you choose, you get to build those neural networks, strengthen them, practice them so that they become so loud, they actually override what were the more dominant symptomatic pathways. In this way, we change the brain. We change which neural networks are allocated, more emphasis, more neural integration, more neural synapsing. That is kind of a quick 101 on neuroplasticity. It's a highly personalized process. While we can do various neuroplasticity programs and learn sort of quick top five tips or, you know, trill your lips and shake it out or, you know, how to move with anxiety and fear in different parts of the brain. I think the Rocksteady program and process is different 
because you get to explore for yourself how you self-soothe, how you calm, and you get to really integrate a tailored approach to how do I own my body and come home to my body? How do I work with my thoughts and my persistent worries and my fears? Because, <clears throat> excuse me, while breathing exercises can and are wonderful, for some people, breath exercises will actually trigger and re-traumatize an old fear-based neural pattern. So it won't be an effective practice. And so when we go through these cookie cutter prescriptions or top five tips, we can really trip ourselves up and go, why aren't I feeling better? Why isn't this working for me? And the reality is, is that we're different. And the neuroplasticity techniques and tools that may work in the morning may actually not feel quite right by lunchtime. So we need a full plethora of tools and multimodal approaches to play with how we build those new neural networks rather than leaning on just one technique. You know, it's not going to be just yoga or just mindfulness or just cognitive behavior therapy or just being with the body, right? There's going to be a full plethora of multimodal approach so you can get at these new neural maps from so many different angles depending on how you're feeling on the day and what you're needing in the day, including what real life events and challenges you're working with and facing on the day. So it really is, it's a part of being the best version of ourselves. It's about understanding our nervous system. It's about learning how to build new, effective, helpful patterns and cultivating that new normal where we can thrive and be the best version of ourselves most of the time. And that less often we're falling into catast catastrophizing drama patterns shame spirals and really living based on fear and what we don't want we shift into feeling calm clear thinking centered grounded and able to access connection and emotional availability to ourselves and to others i have had many rocksteady participants tell me that through going through this rocksteady process they're becoming better parents they're more emotionally available to their partners and their children etc they're actually able to think more clearly at work. It's deeply impacting the broader parts of their life. It starts with ourselves. It starts right here. So that's neuroplasticity. If you would like to learn more, I highly encourage you to look at the full Rocksteady program, which takes you through step-by-step -step, that comprehensive process of becoming the expert in you and deeply understanding your nervous system. So that's a bye for now, and I'll see you along the way.